This screencast is meant to demonstrate Leiden's best practice for teachers collecting documents from their students through shared Google Doc collections. The basic idea is to establish a private collection shared between the teacher and the student that they both have full edit rights to. The students will create the collection, share it with their teacher, giving them edit rights, and then the teacher can create a collection to keep themselves organized. So let me try and walk you through this. To begin, I'm going to go to my Google Docs area as the teacher. And the first thing I'm going to do is create a class collection. And by doing that, I go under the eagle head to create new collection and give it a name. I'm suggesting that you start with the period and the number and then add the name of the class like period 2 algebra and then clicking OK. You'll now notice under your My Collections menu you have a period 2 algebra collection. The idea is that you'll move all of the shared collections from your students from period 2 into this one collection to keep yourself organized. So you'll repeat this process for as many classes as you want. The next step is to ask your students to create their collections and share them with you. So now I'm switching over to a test student account that I have created. You'll notice in the upper right hand corner it says test student at student.lion212.org. So I'm logged into this as a student. They'll need to go to their Google Docs area and then they'll need to create a collection by doing the same thing under the eagle head going to create new and collection. They'll give the collection a name and again I suggest that they start with the period and the number but this time they'll put in their last name and first initial. And then they'll click OK. So for them, the students, under their My Collections area they'll have a collection called Period 2 Weinert B and now they need to share that with you, the teacher. So they'll do that by clicking the down arrow next to the name of the collection, going to Share, and choosing Share. You'll notice that this collection is private only to the people listed below. And of course, the student's name is listed there. So now they just need to add your email address. And they'll want to leave it so that you have full edit rights to the collection. You can choose to tell them to either send you an email that notifying you that the collection has been set up or just uncheck it because if you're checking your Google Docs you'll see them come in. So then they just click share and save. They'll be prompted that they're sharing the collection with somebody that's outside their student organization and that's okay. Okay, they just click yes. So now they have a private collection shared between themselves and you. So now they click done any documents that they now move into this collection will automatically be shared with you the teacher with full edit rights. So let's go back to the teacher account. Let me refresh the page. And now all of those shared collections will come to you under the collection shared with me menu. So if I click on that you'll now see that I have the period 2 Weinert B collection and of course you'd see all of the collection shared with you from all of your students. But to help you manage this a little bit better so that you don't have to constantly scroll through dozens of screens looking for the collection that you want to work with and the student you want to work with, you can simply click on and highlight as many collections as you want at a time and then drag and drop those onto your period two collection. So that's just a way to help you stay organized. Again, the idea here is that you've now established a private one-to-one -one collection between you and the student, and anything that's put in that collection will automatically be uh, shared with both people with full edit rights. So I hope this makes sense. Um, and of course, if you need any help or additional assistance, please let me know or contact the tech office. Thanks.